Ain't nobody ever thought. Ain't nobody ever asked what he does with all them umbilical cords. Say what now? Not Summer Walker sacrificing her womanhood to the Illuminati. Chow, y'all might want to get a chair for this one because Jaguar Wright just shook up the internet once again after she spilled some major tea about Summer Walker being an Illuminati puppet and sacrificing herself for fame. She also alleged that Summer Walker has been getting passed around in industry freak-offs for some years now and was even s eight at some point by some industry men. And if you thought these allegations were wild, then wait until you hear the other things that she said, because it gets even deeper than this. According to Jaguar, Summer is heavily indulged in ancient witchcraft, and she was led into it by Erica Badu. Now, it's unclear, as always, where exactly Jaguar gets all this wild information from, but if there's one thing that we know about Jaguar, it's that she's literally one of the pioneers of the current exposing Hollywood wave that we're in right now. Back when she first started speaking on the Illuminati and the freak and everything in between that we know now, a lot of people were calling her crazy. The blogs painted her as a mentally ill, unstable clout chaser, and she was getting slammed left and right. However, after most of the things that she was saying had been proven to be true, now everyone wants to hear what she has to say, and she's wasting no time, giving the people exactly what they want. This time around, she's got her eyes set on Summer Walker, and it's actually surprising to hear Jaguar saying these things about Summer Walker of all people, because Summer likes to keep a low profile and claims to be Christian, but she's out here doing these things. So Jaguar and Summer first got into it back in 2020, when Jaguar appeared on an interview with Real Life Productions. During the interview, she decided to give a word of advice to the upcoming female artists who are just trying to make it big in Hollywood. It genuinely sounded like she was trying to give these female artists a heads up about what the industry is really like, but somewhere along the line, she suddenly switched up from advising them to talking about Summer. Now, I don't know if y'all know this, but Summer actually has anxiety, and she usually freezes up on stage whenever she's performing. This used to be a really big issue in her career, especially when she first started, because she used to be very awkward on stage and would perform very badly. The anxiety got so bad at one point, she had to cancel multiple dates of her 2019 tour, and there were even reports of her backing out of meet and greets, because she would get very anxious and freeze up. At the time, she said, Unfortunately, I won't be able to finish this tour because it doesn't really coexist with my social anxiety and my introverted personality. But I really hope that people understand and respect that at the end of the day, I'm a person. Around the time that Summer was also going back and forth with her fans and venting about how she hates being famous because apparently it comes with too much and she's not sure if she has what it takes to endure it. In a since deleted post on her Instagram, she said, Nah, for real though, I've decided y'all don't deserve me. I knew from day one I was too real for this ish. Y'all can have the music and I'ma just head out. At the interviews, photo shoots, videos, and really the shows too. I'll finish this tour out though. I'm just a regular person, nothing more. People got this fame ish effed up. Well, according to Jaguar Wright, the real reason why Summer had anxiety and the reason why she was so frustrated with the industry was because she was allegedly used by some industry men. She said this was all also the reason why Summer didn't trust anyone around her and the reason for her severe panic attacks. My advice to any female who wants to get into this business, have a thick skin, do not drink alcohol, never get high in front of anybody, keep somebody close to you that you know at all times, Summer. Has anybody bothered to ask why she all of a sudden became claustrophobic and couldn't perform anymore? Because she had anxiety? Yeah, she got anxiety. Somebody touched her. I don't know it for a fact, but I seen it in a, I heard it in, I know, I know the sound. I can look in a woman's eyes and tell when she been touched. She don't trust none of the people that she around, so she just gonna stay off the road, you see. Now for every name that I can tell you that you know, I can give you about 55 to one.
This interview went viral very quickly, and Summer caught wind of it. She was not here for the allegations that Jaguar was throwing around at all, and she decided to go off on Jaguar for making these claims with no proof. She denied ever being touched and said that if it was to ever happen to her, the culprit would not go scot-free. One, I ain't never been touched. I'm a child of God. I'm highly protected and highly favored, honey. Ain't nothing ever happened to me. Fortunately, I've been beyond blessed enough to have never experienced no ish like that. Two, a mf -er would definitely get clapped, knocked off. Anyone who actually knows me knows that. Jaguar later came out and apologized to Summer for everything she said. She said she didn't mean to offend anyone, but if she didn't back down from her claims that Summer was a target in the industry and that if she didn't tread lightly, she'll end up becoming a victim, just like most other talented female artists before her. She's hella talented, man, and I think because she's hella talented, she's got a target on her. Just like every other hella talented girl that, that has, has come out before her. You know what I mean? Before there was a Summer Walker, there was a Jaguar, right? Aim and everybody was a for her. And I'm, I'm just telling you, Summer, it happens to all the real girls. All of the girls who are really talented. You should, you should actually have a conversation with Beth Midler. That's what I'll say to you, Summer Walker. You need to go and reach out to Beth Midler and ask Beth Midler what it was like for her. And this is a white woman, an extremely gifted and talented white woman. And ask, it, ask what it was like for her. Or, or maybe just go back and study the story of Judy Garland, you know, Liza Minnelli's mother. You are not the only brilliant, bright, new baby to come into the game Then they're gunning for you. See, when you got the talent, you got the power. That's why they like signing artists that don't have talent. Because if they don't have talent, then they're forced to believe and know that if it wasn't for this company, you'll be nothing, Mary J. Blige. You know? See, they like you to not have talent because they say, see, we gave all this to you and we, we can take it all away. And that makes you what? That makes you a slave to them. Because now your identity and your existence is based on what someone else wants, wants you to do, how they want you to do it. But when you got the, the talent, see, you got the power. And you can tell them, you can go take flying leaks because there's 80 million other people that want to work with me other than you. They don't like young artists that have options. They want you to be enslaved. And all I'm saying to you, some of those things, first, I've offended you by anything that I said. And I apologize. I wasn't. Now, honestly, I'm bigging you up because they only come to rip apart the good ones. That's who they come for. They come for the good ones. After this, Jaguar stopped speaking on Summer altogether and went on to focus her energy on other people. That was until a few days ago when she came for Summer once again and accused her of sacrificing her kids to the Illuminati. Now, for those of y'all who didn't know, Summer actually has given birth to all three of her children at home, and this is something that she's been serious about for years. Back when she gave birth to her twins, she actually admitted to eating the placenta because she believed it helped her to fuel her body. She said, I'm so proud of myself just sharing to inspire other women because I know once you carry twins to almost 42 weeks especially with one breach people will try to steer you towards induction or c-section there's nothing wrong with these I just didn't want it for myself you can do it this was my second home birth all natural seven hours both births I almost blacked out at the end but eating your placenta will definitely help keep you above water however according to Jaguar's recent claim the reason is a lot more crazy. She recently had an interview with AT2 where she revealed that summer eating placenta and keeping the umbilical cords is actually a form of an Illuminati ritual that she was introduced to by Erica Badu when she first came into the industry. Apparently, Summer has allegedly been using these rituals to please those demonic Hollywood spirits. And she does this by feeding on the placenta and umbilical cords. Jaguar even went as far as to referring some Summer's kids as Illuminati's babies and claim that the same ritual was performed on Tiana Taylor too. He's a piece of and he's mad that I blew up his spot about Summer. Interesting that it's you who created a whole YouTube page that's dedicated to destroying my character and you decided to run after everything that I've ever looked at. Mm. 
And can you tell us how he ruined Summer Walker too? Summer Walker has been being handled for years. He was a part of her mm -hmm. management team. They allowed all kinds of shit and they sent her down there to Erica Badu's house to be cast spells on shit, singing about graves and shit. letting that woman give birth to the, birth her babies and keep all of that placenta. Oh, she kept the placenta? That's what she does. Oh. Mm. Ain't nobody ever thought. Ain't nobody ever asked what she does with all them umbilical cords and all that placenta from birthing Tiana Taylor's babies. Oh, Illuminati babies. Summer Walker's babies. Oh, Illuminati babies. It's a damn shame. Two May and Fat let her get around them. They ain't been right ever since. Damn. Now, as I said before, Jaguar has not proved any of these extremely wild allegations, but she has said more unhinged things in the past that have turned out to be true. So we can't completely throw the things that she's saying out the window. One person reacted to this by saying, Jack has been saying this for years and I believe her because the people she talks about don't say anything back. And I wish Jack would go back to singing because she definitely can sing. Another person said, it's crazy how y'all don't believe her. She She's actually stated facts, called out names, and times that match with interviews of them saying it out of their mouth. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Jaguar accusing Summer of having Illuminati babies? And do y'all think Summer sacrificed her kids to the demons of Hollywood? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.